Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. I was at the gas station today. Of course, I always peruse through the limited beer selection I have. And I saw this thing here, and it's something I've never seen before. It's Leinenkugel's Lakeside Cherry. Now, Leinenkugel's has been around forever. Uh, you see their beers ever. I think they're distributed through all 50 states. I don't know where else they go. And they do put out some decent beers, but I'd never seen this one before. Leinenkugel's is, is kind of interesting because when I was looking them up to see a little bit more about them, they're out of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and they were started in 1867. That's a hell of a long time ago. I didn't realize they were that old. Now, I couldn't figure out or find out anything about what they did during Prohibition, but the website says they've been around since 1867. So that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, they are now owned by Molson Coors, but I guess once you get so big, somebody's going to buy you, right? Little cool little thing on the can here with the lake and all that. I guess that's probably an image of somewhere near them. And on the back side of this can, Got a little blurb here. Lion and Kugel's Lakeside Cherry is a crisp and refreshing beer made using real cherry juice and was inspired by Rose Lion and Kugel, who mortgaged her family home to save the Lion and Kugel's business after Prohibition. Well, there's the answer to you. The use of cherries creates a rose colored beer honoring Rose and all pioneering, resilient women like her, the Lion and Kugel's family. So hopefully, this is a cherry colored beer. Hopefully, it's Got some good cherry flavor. I love cherries, love cherry drinks, love cherry beers when they're made properly. Surprisingly for a, a brewery who has such wide distribution, it's been around for so long, this beer only gets a 3.54 on tap with 513 check-ins. So maybe this beer just came out recently. And on Beer Advocate, it has nothing. Uh, for the head, that is a little bit of an off-white, almost... Uh, Pinkish shoe to it, real fine bubbles, kind of fizzy. We get into the color here. I don't know if that's got a reddish tinge to it or not. I mean, again, the lighting's not the best. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call that pinkish or reddish. But it's definitely not straight up yellow. Um, on the SRMs, I might give that a give that an eight. Maybe it's got a little bit of a rose color to it. But we'll say it's an eight. Sounds good to me. Hope this smells like cherries. It does. That's got some big, big cherry. But it's like it's like uh soda cherry, if that makes sense. Like not exactly candy cherry, but candy cherry. Like cherry syrup. Got some big big cherry syrup in the nose. As far as taste, we'll find out. Kind of a surprisingly a little bit of a medium body to it on the low end of medium. What is that? You do get a big uh, big cherry flavor up front, but it's that candy cherry. Not candied, but candy cherry. Like almost artificial cherry, but not quite. Like not that cloyingly sugary sweet cherry. They get almost like a cherry syrup kind of flavor. A little bit of bitterness on the back end that I wasn't expecting. It's kind of dry. Not overly sweet, although it does have, like I said, again, it's kind of like that that cherry syrup, but it's not overly sweet. It's got a little bit of some of that bitterness that comes in on the back end. It's, it's very drying. I mean, for me, I'd like the cherry beer to have a more forward cherry flavor and it'd be more of a natural cherry than, than like cherry syrup. But overall, I mean, this was 
what did I pay for this? 11 bucks for a six pack. It's just under $2 a can. You can do much worse than this. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to give this a let it play. It's not the worst thing in the world. I expect it better, but it is Line and Kugel, Molson Coors. I just let it play. If you offered me one, I'd drink it. I don't know if I'd buy it again. I mean, two bucks is not bad. If I just wanted some a drinking beer or something, maybe. Just let it play. I hope you don't think my videos are just to let it play. I hope you enjoy my videos. If you do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Are you enjoying this adventure? If you are, embrace the adventure. Man, I wish I had a better cherry flavor.